Welcome back to the Gaithersburg Book Festival Insider Extra. I'm sitting here with Mayor Judd Ashman of Gaithersburg and bestselling author Sarah Pekkanen. Um, Judd Ashman, the mayor of Gaithersburg, is also the founder of the Book Festival, for those who don't know it. And he's here to tell us about an author that's going to be at the May 16th event who's got um, a special presentation with pop-up books. Yeah. I mean, do you remember pop-up books? You open it up and the, the things pop out and it's really, you know, it's die cut, it's really intricate. Um, we have one of the masters of pop-up books, Robert Sabuda, coming to, to, to the festival to show his latest work, obviously, uh, and it's geared toward children. But what's, what's really neat about this is that he has asked to do uh, a workshop as well for, for people of all ages, ages six and up, to show how to, uh, to create your own pop-up book. And Fine. so, I, th I mean, what, what a great opportunity it is to learn from one of the real masters. Would your kids be interested in that, Sarah? I would be interested in that, actually, as well. <laughs> I think it sounds like fun. Just what a great creative project. Absolutely. Oh, and we haven't talked much about the children's um, workshops and the children's festival and the children's authors. Who else do you have? I know you have the author of Shiloh who's supposed to be at the book yes, festival. Yes, Phyllis Reynolds-Naylor, who is uh, a uh, uh, previous winner of the Newbery Medal. Um, I'm really excited about Jean Lu and Yang, who um, I had mentioned in another segment about uh, being part of the We Need Diverse Books panel. Um, Jean is actually a graphic novelist for uh, the teen YA crowd um, and is the first graphic novelist in the history of the National Book Award to be a finalist for that award. He's won the Prince Honor, the LA Times Book Prize. He's a really, really important uh, uh, rising author that I'm, I'm, I'm excited about. Um, uh, for the teen YA crowd, we also have Ali Carter, who's a very popular um, uh, uh, teen writer. Um, who else? I, I mentioned uh, Michelle Knudsen, Kwame Alexander, the this year's winner of the Newbery Medal, um, and you know, terrific workshops and activities. D um, Dave Roman, I'm, I'm, as names come back to me, and in, in, uh, we have we have uh, uh, Adam Rubin, who's who's well known for the book Dragons Love Tacos, um, which is hilarious um, tons just lots of, and lots of uh, lots of workshops and activities it's gonna be a fantastic time your kids will have a great time that sounds awesome and you're a, you typically write fiction have you ever considered writing for young adult fiction or going into that genre it is such a great genre these days I read a ton of YA just because it's such a vibrant interesting uh, genre so maybe someday I will never say never um, right now I'm focusing on adult fiction but someday absolutely and you're going to be on a panel with an author who has a young adult book out, correct? Yes, yes, I believe she uh, she writes both. So um, it's not uncommon to have an author go back and forth, right? Yeah, I think the one she's going to be speaking about this time, uh, and the author's uh, Marissa De Los Santos, is um, this this book is for adults, but she's obviously w accomplished and has done a number of things. And for the folks that come to the book festival, do you find one genre dominates? Do, are, th are there more fiction readers there than nonfiction or children readers? I wouldn't say that there's, I mean, there's a lot in, uh, there's a lot of fans for each of the genres, uh, uh, fiction, nonfiction, children's, to say it very broadly. Um, so it just depends who the, who the authors are. We, you, I, would, I would always recommend uh, to someone coming to the festival, come early just in case. Yeah. Who's going to have the biggest draw? That's a good question. We have um, an author of sort of uh, romance, sci-fi, fantasy. Her name's Sherilyn Kenyon. And I haven't read any of her books before, but we're expecting a big crowd for her. Uh, she's got a, a very loyal following. I think David Axelrod will have a big crowd. I think the chefs will have a big crowd. I'm hoping Sarah has one of the biggest crowds. <laughs> uh, I, you know, there's, there's just a ton to see. Thank you for b both for being here today. I appreciate it. Um, we hope to see you at the Gaithersburg Book Festival on May 16th on the grounds of Gaithersburg City Hall. That's 31 South Summit Avenue. And for more information about the Book Festival, you can visit the Gaithersburg Book Festival website at gaithersburgbookfestival.org or watch our continuing coverage on the MyMC Media website. Thank you for watching. I'm Sonia Burke.